Despite having hundreds and millions of streams and a real promising career in front of them, Ski Mask ain't dropped the album in over 1,892 days. Some people look at him like he was only big because he was friends with all these big artists. Others realize he had some actual rapping ability. So where did everything go wrong? With so much talent, why did he drop everything in quick? 2013, Ski was out one day. He ended up getting caught with like $10 worth of gas and 12 wasn't playing with him. They made him sit for that. In this one moment, the moment he went to jail will be the start of his real problematic career. I'm talking about what even made him want to rap was a problem he was in. While he was in there sitting, he met someone who was going to be real important to his life. X. Somehow these two got locked up at the exact same time. And one day, they was in jail talking and I guess him and X got the freestyling. And when X heard him, he was telling bro like, you need to start rapping for real like this hard. They both got free with just making music and from that moment forward, they was basically brothers. They ended up creating their own group, members only, that came with his own set of problems. People could say whatever they want to say bro, but I've, I've literally never did anything but show people love anybody that's in members only. Anybody that's in members only, Right now, most likely met X because of me. They only know X because of. I remember the majority of people not even wanted to hang around X because of how he acted, and I said, "No, give him a chance. If you want me to be real, y'all didn't do nothing to me, but y'all sat there and let them. Y'all let members only, and y'all let that can extort me or try to do some weird. And I ain't on that type of time." Y'all know that, bro. Bro, come on now, bro. I ain't nothing but a good friend, bro. We have seven songs together. Seven songs. And you mad because I put up one song that, you, that I took you off on my album and said I'm hurting your pockets. I'm hurting your pockets, yeah, bro. Really and truly, fam, I literally just talked to Cleo today. And it felt it was one of the best conversations I've had in a while, fam. And me and Cleo, I just literally got to talk to Cleo about how I actually felt about everything. That was the first time I talked to her about like how I felt about everything because I wasn't able to talk to Cleo after X's death because I wasn't uh, I wasn't the man, I wasn't the man that I needed to be after X's death. Like honestly, I wasn't. And I'm here now, and I got my energy back, bro. And I talked to Cleo, and bro, she told me she understands now. She understands, and I told her exactly what's going on, bro. And that it makes me feel so much better because I already knew and I already felt good because I know X is watching my heart and X knows my heart. But after this group started, these two was really locked in with the music scene, dropping tapes on tapes, expanding the brand, really figuring out what they was going to do with their music career. But they didn't know how fast everything was going to change. X dropped, look at me. Everyone around that man went up right with him. And that's where Ski Mask's career really came to be. Over the years, he had dropped a lot of music and he was building his own little fan base. When his homeboy, a dude he be with every day, basically became the face of the whole internet overnight, of course that was going to bring him up right with him. So now, when these new fans coming in, they got a whole catalog of music to listen to from Ski Man. Basically, from that moment forward, Ski was somebody the world knew. I'm XXX Tentacion. <laughs> Tonight's guest, whose name, whose name I wasn't 100% sure I was saying right today, so I cut, <laughs> I cut it out of the vlog all day. All right. I'm Bruno. <laughs> Ski master slump guy, man. And at first, it was looking good. It was looking like Ski was finna have a career going until problems came. First few months into 2017, Ski Mask got into one of the biggest situations of his career. But before I tell y'all that, make sure y'all join the Discord. Link at the top of the description. And this one I done spoke about on the channel many times, so I'm gonna be brief about it. Basically, Ski was on tour with an artist that went by the name Rod Stone. And behind the scenes, throughout the whole tour, these two was really getting into it. I'm talking about people around them were starting to tell it was some tension going on. And so they all doing these performances, doing these dates, and one night, Ski Mask got into it with the tour manager. After they was getting into it, the tour manager basically forced Ski Mask to not perform. He was like, you can't perform, and okay, that's one thing. But this where the problem really come. After he tells Ski Mask he can't perform, he then tells him that he cannot go out there and tell the crowd what happened. Basically, the tour manager wanted the crowd to think that Ski just didn't show up or left. But at the same time, this was happening. Rob Stone was on stage. So Ski walked to the stage to try and get the mic and let the crowd know that he got into it with the manager. He can't perform. He didn't flake on him. He was just out of his control. Rob Stone people was up there and he just asked for a mic real quick. He's like, hey, can I, can I get the mic? But Rob's people... They wasn't liking that. They were just looking at it. They looking at him like he crazy and Ski started to get mad. He's standing on stage looking at them. But this is where the problem come in. Rob Stone peoples come grab Ski Mask, take him off stage. And you know, like I see in every video, they ain't know what this little situation was about to start. After that happened, someone from the crowd recorded and posted the video, right? And when X seen it, 
he was throwing Rob all kind of threats. Let him know whoever that is finna get effed in their mouth when I go on tour for putting their peasant hands on my brother. And from that moment forward, this would now be between X, Ski, and Rob Stone. But even though Ski got into it with the manager, he was still on contract, meaning he had to go to more shows. Next day come up, and at this point, it's real problems in the air because X was online publicly threatening Rob Stone. One day, Ski and Rob see each other, and Rob kind of pressed Ski. He's like, your mans was online talking how he was. You need to tell that nigga lock in because I ain't with that. I don't like them threats. Now, we don't know what Ski said back, but it couldn't have been good because next day, Ski go get on stage. And the second he touched down, all these people just came jumping. Keep in mind, Ski there by himself. So he just trying to run. He just trying to run. He run out the back door, but it was too late. It was too many. They was beating, bro. They had him straight on the ground giving him work. Pause. And the next morning, when everybody found out, the internet was going crazy. And the next time I see one of y'all is disrespect my brother, I'm going to punch y'all in y'all. And that's right. That's right. Been off that talking because of probation. But really, let that know I'll slap him in his mouth. Mouth Rob Cinder Block. I slap in your motherfucking mouth. I better stop playing with my brothers because when I see, when I come on tour and I'm in your city, I'll put that on you. So quit playing with me, guys. Because when I see him, I'm put that on you, boy. I'm gonna slap the out of this, bro. Bro, how, bro? First of all, bro, how you how you only average like 30k on Twitter with radio play? How you average 30k on Twitter with radio play? We just, bro, we just now doing and we are, bro, bro. If Ski don't slap you, bro, if Ski don't slap you in your I'm, bro, I got, bro, listen, bro, just listen to this, bro, bro, listen to this ass, ass, bro, when the whistling stop, I'm gonna rock, watch, <laughs> This situation got so big, Rob Stone reached out to XXL, and they gave him and Ski Mask both interviews on their side of the story. And if y'all don't know, the reason X had got knocked down on stage that one time was because of this beef with him, Rob Stone, and Ski. But Ski career really didn't go nowhere but up. From this point, him and X was going on tour. They was dropping music. They was making SoundCloud classics. Ski was even getting invited to Rolling Loud. He was getting Rolling Loud placements. But them Rolling Loud placements at that time came with some problems. Rolling Loud came, and it was like a month after the whole Ski and X Rob situation, right? And you know, at that time, Rob was high. He had the whole Chill Bill song going on. People kind of knew who he was. But Rolling Stone wasn't done. Because it wasn't just Rob hot at the time. Ski and X was both hot at the time. So they seen what went down. And they not done, so they made a move. A move that was going to have Rob hating Ski Mask and X even more. They replaced Rob Stone with Ski Mask and Slump Guy. Due to recent events, the festival decided that the safest course of action is to remove Rob Stone from the Roll the Loud Festival in order to maintain a safe concert experience for the fans and artists alike. When Rob got the news that he got kicked off the tour, that man was he. He got on Twitter and said they paid me in full advance not to show up at the festival. The promoters, they boy, they all saw whatever though. See y'all in Cali. Y'all know what the deal was. I was flying in on a private jet. They paid me not to go for safety and security. Yeah, I was still going. Then they paid more. So I just said, yeah. Roger got put on Made in America. You think I care about not being on Roller Loud? I'm hyped right now. When was the last time one of y'all listened to a Rob Stone song? But it wasn't all he had to say. How was Rolling Loud? I don't know. Let me ask my pinky ring. Because I didn't go to Rolling Loud. All I did was go buy a pinky ring. What they gave me not to show. So I didn't go beat n up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my pinky ring. How rolling loud was, all right? Since you wanna, since you wanna keep asking me about rolling loud, I don't know. Just ask my diamond ring that you ain't never had enough money to go buy in your life. With your that you'll never see in your life with your. You'll never see these kind of diamonds on your body in your life. So I'ma just leave my diamonds in my camera for the rest of this Instagram live, cause you. <laughs> Cause you know, keep talking that shit. Leave my diamonds in the camera for the rest of the, for the rest of the for the rest of the shit, man. Look at him dancing. <laughs> what is him up? Dipping and dabbing and sending her. Oh God, damn. I bet the money you got for that ring is from your one hit wonder song. No, it was actually so I, I wouldn't go to run loud to beat nobody up. But I got money from my song too. But it's a lot more than a diamond than a diamond finger. I'm gonna tell you that much. Am I gonna slap? XXX when he had North Park next month. No, I won't be the one to slap him, but no, he's getting his slap. You think he about to come to San Diego and perform a goddamn thing? I'm gonna just say that. It ain't gonna be me. It ain't gonna be me, but just know he ain't gonna be able to touch that stage. 
That's a fact. Even past all that, like I said, Ski career was still going on. 2017, he ended up getting a Missy Elliott co-sign, working with Timbaland, doing all kind of interviews. It was really looking up. Like, his career was going crazy. But right at the height of the success, something came out about it. And Ski, it's randomly got on IG saying, if you want me to make music again, tell Ski Mask to be my friend again. If you're an artist and you're trying to work with anyone in the industry, understand that you cannot trust anyone. People that you trust, people that are your friends, people that are close to you, the people you do business with will always try you over. Trust no one. Do not trust anyone. Today was a real day for me because people I trusted with my home, people I trusted with my life had shown me today that they can't be trusted. So from this day forward, I'm going to treat everyone very, 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 very differently. And I'm going to be better. All I ask from my, my fans and supporters today uh, is to give me some sort of Good energy or positive energy because I'm having a really bad day and I'm, I'm very disappointed today. So what happened with me and, and Ski, um, to explain it in an appropriate way and in a way that I can respect, um, it was just, I guess, a, a lack of appreciation on his end, not because of me, I guess just from a business perspective, but he put a business perspective before a personal relationship. And I've been with uh, been with him as a friend and as a brother for a very long time. So, I mean, it's just on some, like, to be honest, it's not even on some, like, it's not even on anything I've, I've done wrong. I can't even, you can't even say I've done anything to him. And I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go on the internet and express, express that if I didn't care about the relationship. But you already know how it goes. People use you to get where they want to go. And then part ways and I've been used a lot if you haven't noticed so it was a test of loyalty I wouldn't even say it was a test of loyalty I'm not testing you guys I'm genuinely just hurt because I've, I've just definitely been getting more I've been seeing the hate more than the love and I have a very very strong fan base so I don't I just I don't know I just begin crucified every day on he was just feeling like Ski wasn't riding for him. He felt some kind of way that Ski picked a bag over him. And for a second, that's what the world knew. Whole internet was going crazy. Everybody talking about it. But that all changed when Ski Mask came out with his side of the story. This is a person who before threatened my family, told me I was supposed to be sacrificed on some crazy timing. So no, I didn't just separate myself for no reason. And look, the internet was going crazy before, but this took it to another level because people really was looking at X like he was the kind of nigga to really try and sacrifice somebody. So now all the media pages posting about it, making posts about X saying he tried to sacrifice Ski and this was really the whole topic of the internet at the time. But that wasn't it though. They were still going back and forth and X was snapping on My response to the request for the song by Ski is no, I'm gonna destroy all these rappers. None of them friends me. They don't care. They just want me and my energy. Keeping my foot on their throat. And if anyone got a problem with it, kill me. Look like they want my life anyway. So sad that I don't never get to use my real power against them. I hold back so much. Even with all the weight I got on my shoulder, these lanes couldn't keep up if they tried. I'm going to destroy y'all musically, mentally. I watch the people I love try to stab me in the back and use my platform for their own success. I'll make you regret your decision. This a final warning. Now look, I don't know what that nigga was talking about. He was on here talking like he was an anime character or something. But it was really so much going on. And to the world, it was looking like they wasn't ever finna be cool again. It was like their friendship was cooked because X was talking crazy. You know, the crazy thing is after this situation went down, we never got no more Ski and X music. To this day, we have not got an official Ski and X song. But Ski seen all that X was talking and responded with his own love video. I wasn't saying anything about friendship, man. I was talking about making a song, bro. <laughs> now, even though Ski best friend, Ski ex best friend, whatever you want to call him, was beefing with him. His homeboy for years was beefing with him. He still pushed forward. He was still dropping music, doing his own thing until he came out telling the world something real personal. I stunted my growth and got some fat boy disease and had to get surgery over my heart, on my chest. I've been avoiding this since the start of my career checking on it today with a positive mind pray for him and i'm talking about these health problems he was having at the time was getting so rough he was canceling whole tour dates over fortunately we had to cancel the europe tour for the weekend ski been advised by doctors to avoid long flights at this time we sorry for the inconvenience and appreciate all the fans that bought tickets we gonna come to them shows we promise to make it up to y'all all soon 
Ski gonna provide a statement in his own words eventually. And look, even though that man was facing some real life problems, he started to become good friends with his new artist at the time. Juice World. Early 2018, they had been seen together all the time. I'm talking about they doing interviews together, doing songs in the studio, everything. But right at the start of their friendship, another one ended. A little bit before this, X ended up passing away. Just a little bit before X passed away, barely even a month, him and Ski made up. They came out on stage at Rolling Loud together out of the blue and performed. But when X passed away, it hit Ski hard. I'm talking about this, his mans, he hurting. His mans he done knew for years just passed away. I'm talking about he was hurting so bad, he was on IG Live crying about the situation. But he did push through. And by the end of that year, he dropped basically his final album. November 30th, 2018, Ski dropped his album Stokely with features from Juice World, Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, and it was a decent project. But it was also the moment his career basically stopped. He dropped this album and nothing ever came. And at the time, people was all good with it because his man just passed away. But they just hoped for something to come in maybe 2020, maybe late 2019. And all throughout 2019, Juice and Ski was seen together 24-7. They was doing more interviews together. And this was a person Ski was getting cool with. I'm talking about at one point, they even had a whole album playing together, Evil Twins. The track list for the tape ain't ever get confirmed, but it's dozens and dozens of snippets of the two having songs together. But before that tape could even come out and Ski Mask could put his mental back together, Juice World passed away. And this had Ski finna crash out. I'm talking about he was on Twitter calling for help. He said it should have been me instead of X or Juice. He was feeling like he got two of his brothers took for him back to back. Man, all of this just added more and more weight on to the music. I mean, just think about it. He going through real life problems. His focus probably wasn't on the music. He was probably on his mental health. He was just trying to be okay. And so for years after Juice had passed, we weren't really getting no music from Ski. Really nothing. Just him speaking on the two as time went on. But at the end of the day, Ski Mask is an artist and he probably under all kind of contracts. And I don't know whether the label told him to put it out or he just wanted to put it out. But 2021, he finally came out and dropped some more music, but it wasn't an album. He dropped a new project, Sin City, the mixtape. And the fact you probably didn't know was his dad was a rapper back in the day that went by the name Sin City. But this mixtape came with a lot of problems. People didn't like it. And I mean, a lot of people didn't like this project. Sale-wise, it didn't do good. But like I said before, sales do not determine whether some music is good or not. But it can show if people had some interest in. Musically, people did not like the sound of the album. People hated the production. They felt like it was too similar to the music he was making with X all the way back in 2016. And this tape came out in 2021. It would seem like the world didn't want to hear that again. And technically, he did kind of bounce back from all that hate. Over the past few years, he done had some songs get real big on TikTok. And his name was in front of people many times. But sadly, that won't happen no more because Ski Label is under UMG. And if you don't know, UMG took all they artists' music Music off TikTok. You will never hear another Ski Man song on TikTok again. But he had some buzz around his name and took that to his advantage. He started promoting his new project, teasing something new, 11 Dimension. In November last year, he got online confirming the album name and saying that 11 Dimension coming soon. But we in February 2024 now and it's still ain't no album. But Genius saying the album expected in May of this year, but that ain't no guarantee. So take that info how you weak. But over the years, he done handed his features on there. July 2022, he said he wanted Future, Yeet, Baby Keem on the album. But that was two years ago. Then in September last year, he posted to a story with Whiteboard with a track list. And the features is blocked down on there, but you can kind of see it if you're looking at it. I see Juice World, Yeet, and nigga, that's it because everybody else blocked out too much. So we're going to see how this rollout perform. It's been going on for years at this point. It is crazy to think, though, that he ain't dropped an actual album since 2018. And I do hope Ski Mental Health is better and that the album is decent because the artist from my last video career game cooked right now people been clowning the little baby every time he drop a snippet drop a single really everything so find out how his career going on in the video on screen right now